hello kings and queens welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm showing you guys how i do my box braid on a short hair yes don't say when your hair is short you cannot do box braid you can do a box braid on that hair so when i'm doing my box braid on a shorter hair i always tend to start at the back yes the reason being that the back mostly is shorter than the front bit when it comes to a shorter hair it's shorter than the middle part of the hair so you're gonna start at the back of it it's gonna give you the hold that you need because you have so much energy you just started plaiting the hair there's so much energy and you're gonna get that hold not to pull the hair because every short hair that person head is tender it's a bit soft so you're not gonna pull that hair because every time you hold on that hair you're gonna know that you are there's a hold on the hair but you have to hold on it softly but firmly so that they won't get their hair pulling at the end of the day they'll be able to sleep and do other stuff yes when you're holding it they feel like yeah there's some force or there's some thing going on in the hair but when you leave it it has to be relaxed they have to breathe through it's not about how it's going to be new. Oh, I want to hold it really, really neat. And that's going to make them have more headache. So I cut my hair into three and I pulled really long hair. So this hair, I cut them into three. So it's a black hair. We don't need to do so many things to it. But I added on the hair to it, which was a highlight when I was finishing the hair, just to give it a highlight, you know what I mean? Like just to give it a different look. So you can literally cut your braid, your box braid in any angle or direction. You don't have to make them particularly in a box, like equal box. Just do them in a it's, you're gonna cut them in a box, but not in like an equal box. I don't know if you get what I mean. You're not gonna cut them only because you want all of them to be in a row. Yeah, that's the the best way to describe it. So that's how I cut my box braid, more especially on a shorter hair. I cut through it, get the hair. I got the hair from a beautiful client. She's so cute. Look at that. Look at her colors. She has a natural color. Her skin is glowing, guys. <laughs> she has no makeup on, but yeah, look at how beautiful she is. With a short hair. I can't even afford to cut my hair, guys. So, I split the hair into three when I was doing the, the, the holding of the hair. I split it into three. I, I do the uh, plaiting a couple of times before i will start actually turning the oxbow to oxbow it normally i tell my clients if you feel like the hair is pulling when i'm literally trying to do the the oxfold we call it or the plait on it make sure you hold the hair on the net it's not like the hair is going to pull when i leave it it's only going to pull because of the force i'm using to pull it so literally i'm dragging it to pull it but sometimes it does hurt some people sometimes it does not hurt some people but i always tell people make make sure you're comfortable hold the hair if you feel like it's i'm doing too much force on it because that hair needs to be oxford so i'm gonna do the same process all throughout and i normally do halfway from the back before I start doing the side. But for now, I'll just continue doing the back that way and I'll come back and walk you guys through when I'm gonna do the, the side.
So I went um, really um, far from the back. So now I started at the side. Yes, I've already done the other side. But I wanted to show you guys this side because obviously you don't want the video too long trying to explain yourself. It's just the same process. Make sure you cut the hair into three when you're plaiting it. I don't comb hair so you can feel a little bit of tangle in the hair because this hair is natural hair guys not, you all know how natural hair is and you don't want to put water in it for it not to be too damp when you do the box braid you it, it will tell on it so I'm just gonna do that you know as a mother obviously my son was screaming guys <laughs> my son was craving so I had to put him on my back so that I'll be able to do this hair because this hair needs to be done. So let's choose him on my back. He later on slept. But obviously it's just boy thing. <laughs> he wanted mommy. So mommy have to hold him. You know. But yeah. So I'm just literally doing the same process. As I said to you guys always. I always finish my hair with a twist at the end. Just so I'll be able to finish the hair. So you look at the angle I'm cutting the hair. I'm not cutting the hair in a straight line and start braiding. I'm cutting it in a box braid, in a box style, but a round box. So like a C kind of curve. That's what I'm doing. And I'm making sure I hold it a couple of times before I start braiding. So my son was quite disturbing. So I was like shaking him, you know, our African joke. So we need to get that thing done. And my son needs comfort as well so we have to get both done at the same time so excuse that but the hair was uh, done and a very calm and you know just just do the hair the hair is very neat the mistake people tend to do every time is not to divide the hair into three when they're doing it 
when you don't divide, uh, divide the hair into three when you're doing it, like the natural hair, you always get um, to, sometimes the hair will come out, like the, the expression will come out and leave your natural hair on your head if you have a pull on it. It normally happens. But if you cut the hair into three, there is no way that expression is going to come out and leave your natural hair. If that expression wants to come out, it's going to come out with your natural hair. That's what we want. We don't want anyone to just hold the hair, pull the hair, and then bam, your other the natural hair is gone. We want it to hold, and we want them to be together. So I literally end up pushing my son down because he was kind of like one to play. But that did not happen. A couple of minutes later, he was screaming. <laughs> anyway the work was done so that's the most important thing so when you're doing a shorter hair always make sure you hold the hair firm but not pull the hair there's a difference in that there's a difference in holding the hair giving the hair a grip and then pulling the hair when you're pulling the hair even yourself will know that you're pulling the hair because your hands are going to be killing you I did this here without my hand killing me at all because I did not pull the hair. I only had a grip to it so that it will be neat and it will come out nicely. So I'm going to go through that and come back to you guys when I'm in the last bit of it, the front, and walk you guys through.
So as you can see, I'm in the last part of it. Obviously, people that have short hair are very curious when it comes to their hair. So don't mind my darling. She was literally judging her hair, trying to see her, what's up with her hair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because she didn't have any mirror that she was seeing herself through. Because we were recording. So we face back the mirror. So she had to like literally um, make sure by holding it. We were watching a very nice uh, program all throughout this process, which was really good and interesting. So we were kind of like paying attention and some play, when it gets to some play, we were like, Ooh, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. So I'm just going to do that. And the finishing bit is just the same as you started. I added a color to it and eyed some of the hair because it's a black and gold. You don't want... Um, you want that gold to go with the black, so I did not hide the hair full. I'll show you guys as we go along how to hair that uh, hide the black hair completely when you're doing colored hair. But I did not want to hide it because I needed to, it's a mixed color, so I always make sure I twist the end of my hair just so the hair is properly finished. It's very important, guys. Because you see some braids, the hair, the braid is nice underneath and it, the hair look trashy. You don't want that. You want that natural straight look at the end of your, 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 your braids. So the best and quickest way I can say is do a twist. So there was two left. What I did was use my hand to cut that too. Because there's no point looking for comb, blah, blah, blah. Because it's just two that left and... Uh, it was already like um, obvious so I'm trying to zoom the camera in so that you guys can literally see what's up I hope you guys are gonna see what's up though so you see my fine girl there okay? she's feeling herself already so I literally hold the hair cut it into three and can you see me cutting the hair into three and make sure the three holds of the expression have each have one slide of hair and then I start braiding so that's just it so the black hair when I start doing it it was quite big so when you braid you want to braid all the same size even though it's not going to be like particularly like the same 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 obviously you're not using a computer or you're not using the measuring machine to do this work but it has to be a bit uniform like really uniform so i tried to do that so on the next slide after this the last bit of the hair i took too much hair because obviously it's the last day i didn't want any expression or any leftover hair so i was like yeah come here hair let me just grab you and just do it but it look awkward so i take it out and redo it smaller so yeah that's it for that part and after that we're gonna put it in water hot water you always want to put your hair in hot water the funniest thing is that when you do your hair this way and then end up with a twist at the end you've actually 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 must not put your hair in hot water if you don't want to because the people just like it that way they don't like it too tiny too thin at the end if you don't want to, you don't have to, because already the hair is whole. It has a grip on it at the end already, so it's not like a do. You must do something, but I always do it because I like that natural and slim look at the end of it. So why not? You know, when you like something and you you like your work to represent you, obviously do it. So I've boiled the water already. While I was doing that, as you can see, the the thing evaporating. I've boiled it and it was um end up the, the bowl. The hair was too thick. As you can see, the hair is already thick. So I literally had to do something about it. So I, I just literally take some out, out and sorry guys. I I literally saw that we were out of the camera, <laughs> like we're in the corner. So I was like, yeah, we need to push, but we were talking about something really, really important. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna like uh, stop her saying, Oh, that we need to push her. I'm just like, Yo, I'm just gonna push her. So, yeah, 
crazy because she had that 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 shock you go know i mean because she was unprepared but anyway sorry my darling you know i didn't mean it i just wanted us to be in the camera so that's uh when we finish you're gonna put the hair in what water always make sure you put your towel on i always have my towel yes that green towel is for my hair mostly i've got two other towels i've got tiny ones small ones two of it but i use them for different style hairstyles as we go along i'll show you guys i use them once as well when i'm doing like a curly hair kind of expression curly hair so i put the towel on that and then i put the hair the end of the hair in the water yes you can put this hair into ponytail and put them into water it's gonna still give you the same effect but I just wanted to do this because mostly she's going to have her hair down. It's not like she's going to have her hair ponytail every time. She's going to have her hair down. So why not? So I went for this. And make sure when you put your hair in water, you towel dry it this way. Don't fold them. Make, make sure it is straight and just towel dry through. So I'm just going to dab some hot water because obviously her hair is a bit tender. She's not done braids for longest time, longest time, guys. So I just uh, uh, put water on the towel and just a bit dab it on there just so it can be relaxed. I don't want her to be in any pain. I'm going to get my scissors and trim it a little bit. You don't need much trim. As you can see there, it's clear that when you finish your hair, you don't need much trim. So it's just a tiny little trim. So I'm just going to trim it. And voila, that's the hair we've got there. We've got our box braid. We've got, um, it's not too rough. I tried to like do that, but I was just doing it for the camera, guys. There was nothing to cut because the hair was neat. When I say neat, it was on fire. It was neat. So I tried to dry it again just so because I saw some water was dripping. So that's the way I dry my hair. Hold it up and pull it down. No squeezing it because that's hot water. If you just hold it and squeeze it, it's going to curl. You don't want that curl. So that's my darling there. As you can see her, her beautiful face. She's just going to turn around for you guys a little bit. She's not used to this. She's a bit shy when doing it. But yeah, just so you guys can see. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.